And the best part, we got a great forecast to go along with it. Temperatures uh, today will reach the 60s. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. We got a lot of activities planned too for today. We're kids worry about a lot of things. We can Almost. smell the weekend and the best part. We got a great forecast to go along with it. Temperatures uh, today. Ending work that last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too. Hey, sorry, I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew a girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. Is going on on the outer loop of the beltway towards the 66 West. Yesterday made it. I think we make it to the low 60s today. Could be in the mid 60s by tomorrow. We we'll also have some showers though as we get towards the weekend and maybe something other than rain early next week. I'll let you know what those latest computer models are saying as they're rolling in this morning, hour by hour. That's in my full forecast in just a couple of minutes. Now we're going to toss it over to Lindsay with the one thing you need to know about the traffic. Jonathan, we got an alert from VDOT. Out of all the things you've seen and done, Seven minutes coming in from Fredericksburg right now on 95 northbound and about nine minutes from the Beltway to the 14th Street Bridge. Las Vegas is starting to come to life just days before Super Bowl 58. I'm Jared Hill with how fans are celebrating and how the NFL is honoring its own. All right, excitement is building in Las Vegas as the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 58 is now just days away and more fans are, are starting to arrive. And some of those fans got to attend the 2024 NFL Honors last night. And our man, Jared Hill, he is live in Las Vegas this morning. He is hey. not, it is not 7 o'clock. You are not in your drop top cruising the streets. <laughs> Instead, you were at the NFL Honors last night to see our man, by our man, I mean in Maryland, Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson <laughs> get a big award. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, we're going to come back to Usher in a second because I, I got some stuff for you. <laughs> okay. Speaking of Lamar, Lamar Jackson, though, uh, yeah, this is his second win as uh, the, 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 the MVP here. And this is a moment um, in which, you know, this is a, a, a sort of a culminating time for him not getting a chance to bring his team to the Super Bowl itself, but still able to get a bit of recognition, take home um, uh, 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 an award of his own here. And so, yeah, this is definitely a big moment. Huge moment for Lamar. I mean, he wanted that big trophy, the bigger trophy. I, I bet he would trade it off. But yeah. you know what? It, it's better to get that than, than nothing. So we'll, we'll just go with that. All right, Jared, you've been in Las That's Vegas true. all week long. What's been your favorite part of covering yes. the Super Bowl in, in, in general? Just out of all the things you've seen and done. So again, I told you that we would revisit Usher. Yesterday, I got a chance to be in the press conference mm -hmm. uh, front row where Usher was talking about his Super Bowl performance, the halftime show. Um, and that was a really cool moment just to kind of see him talk about his thoughts on his career uh, over the past 30 years, where he sees this going. I turned on his new album this morning as I was getting ready to come into work. The other thing that's been interesting is just seeing how excited people are uh, as they're coming in. Today, we're really starting to see more folks come into town for the, for the weekend. As I was trying to get to our live shot location this morning, actually, I had to snake through all the people in the casino and at the bar uh, who were having a good time uh, <laughs> as I was headed to work. And so it's just nice to see people having fun. <laughs> having a good time in Vegas as you're on your way to work. So uh, last thing for you. Right. Your predictions on the Super Bowl. We know about the team normally in the last couple of years, a team that wears the white jersey normally wins the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. This year is the 49ers. So I'm asking you for your predictions right now. <sighs> My predictions. 
So I'm a I'm a I'm not a betting man. Okay. Um, and I, I tend to not give my own opinion on things. <laughs> Here's what I can tell you though. Yesterday I talked to a couple of uh, a bunch of fans who gave their own predictions. People were really really cemented in like a 23 21 uh, type of score on either side and so okay. i'm curious to see if that actually ends up being a thing because uh, again so many folks had really really specific numbers that they were throwing out and it was all within that range so i don't know okay all right i like how you how you did that how you just stood right there <laughs> stay right there in the middle i also you, don't like to be wrong on tv i, I understand that you know what you sound just like me all right <laughs> all right this is your last chance this is our last meeting together so you have to give me one more usher song before we close it out for the week and and, and move on Oh, one more song. Uh, <laughs> we covered a lot. She looks in my way. Oh, oh my way. way. Okay. Oh, wow. everybody loves that in here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. What I say no, go. No, 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 for the last time, that's what you get. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I heard everybody came in at that moment. <laughs> Jerry, thank you very much. It has been a blast uh, talking with you yes. this week. So good job. Good job. Oh, so much fun. All right. Thank Take you. care, sir. Mm, I got goosebumps. <laughs> no, on he, got, he got some pipes. Either. He got some pipes. Come okay. On, don't, on, he did it so humbly as well, <laughs> right? Like it was. Oh, <laughs> don't forget, you can watch the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 58 right here on <laughs> WSA 9. Our coverage starts at 1130 Sunday morning kickoff set for 630. Mm. <laughs> okay, you'll want to wake up with Get Up DC Monday after the Super Bowl. We'll have an exclusive interview with Commander's owner Josh Harris. He's narrowed down three sites for a new stadium, and you want to hear uh, where you could be watching the team play in the very near future. You got to tune in Monday. And we'll be live in Morristown, New Jersey. That's the hometown of Commander's new head coach, Dan Quinn. We're going to hear from the people who know him best about his leadership and his character on and off the field. Plus, we're taking a look at a program in the district to help businesses in Ward 7 and 8 not just survive, but thrive. That's all on Get Up DC this Monday from 425 to 7 a.m. Then at 9 a.m., we're giving you more news, weather, and traffic, uh, plus the breakdown of the memorable moments from the Super Bowl, including the commercials. And we're celebrating Black History Month by sharing the story of Daryl Hill. Mom was always very self-sufficient but we started noticing things were off. I was forgetting my responsibilities at work. I told mom we should visit a doctor. Alzheimer's. It was hard to hear that. Early detection 